This video is sponsored by Gift Dudes, so make sure you check them out. What is going on Pokemon then? Back with yet another Pokemon Unite gameplay video. Today we're going to be running on a Alolan Vulpix to Alolan Ninetales build. Interested to see what kind of gameplay we can expect with this. This is obviously a ranged special attack Pokemon. Um, this is purely an attack Pokemon so the defense shouldn't be too great. So we're going to have to play this one tactically just like with Venusaur. The upside with this is we only have one evolution stage to go through, so it will be interesting to see what kind of balancing we've got on this. So up to a good start in a minute, we are teaming up with Eevee, and we are going to be spanking these Ordinos for some cheeky Aos energy, and hopefully we can get a nice little bit of a brawl with some of the enemy team running over shortly. Oh uh, yes, we've got the Gossifleur and the Lucario. So it is very cool to see that we have got the uh, freezing effects going off all of a sudden. So I'm not sure which moves we're going to go with. Dazzling Gleam sounds pretty cool. So we're going to go with that. Already evolved into a Ninetales at just level 4. So that is off to a good start. We are the first scorers on this one as well. So we are just going to carry on with our basic routine of stacking up against the en enemies, uh, getting XP and getting any buffs basically going for their goals and having a good old time doing it because it is interesting to play uh, on these different builds especially if they have some sort of power behind them i don't think i found a pokemon yet that doesn't have uh, any sort of fun gameplay um aspects to it so like i said it will be interesting to play this and see what how it stacks up against other enemies but for the uh, for the most part it seems to be doing very well because i'm just spamming all my attacks so they're getting out pretty cool and pretty cool there with a pun intended because we are freezing our enemies in place securing the uh, KOs with our Sylveon buddy and I am even going to go for these little bits of orbs now I don't actually know what these do I don't know if they give you XP but we are going to take them anyway so Lucario is coming back again see if we can challenge him in his own home turf um, we'll lure him away from his home turf so that he can't get them heals off and then we'll give him a cheeky freeze See if we can stack with Sylveon on Bulbasaur. And yes, there we go. Sylveon has got the KO on that one. We've got another 4 Aos Energy to deposit. So already down to 12 on the goal uh, to destroy that goal. So that's pretty quick, pretty efficient. Now we did just unlock Aurora Veil. I'm not too sure what that does exactly. But I think it's giving me some sort of special attack boost. Or maybe a chance of freezing uh, the Pokemon at a higher rate. Um, not too sure, but... Very happy with the mobility on this Ninetales. It does seem to have a, a bit more speed than uh, the other Pokemon. I, well, it, I don't know if it does, but it feels like it's uh, definitely more faster in the mobility side of things. Uh, we're going to run back to the goal, give them a quick fake there so we can go catch all these uh, combis. Try and get the Vesper Queen. I'm going to take out this Squirtle with a nice freeze because why not? I think we're going to get the cheeky KO on that one. No, he's just literally gone out of my uh, range. So um, we're going to run back. Grab these berries for a cheeky little heal, and we're going to go for a buff, just because it's going to help us out, especially in the moment when we want them to stay where uh, we want them to, rather than letting them escape, because every Pokemon you take down, as you know, is going to lose some Aos energy, and you're going to get their Aos energy that they have accumulated, which is going to help you with scoring, so you don't have to always take down the uh, NPC Pokemons, you know, like uh, I am doing right now. You... Uh, you do need to uh, in the early game uh, if you have got a, like a high level you will be at a better advantage of actually taking down your Pokemon uh, on the enemy team but you do not want to get left behind because you will be struggling for the most part in actually trying to catch them up we've got a nice cheeky score of 20 there which brings down the goal I'm going to try and take out this Squirtle because why the hell not you're still a Squirtle you need to be evolving oh you actually did evolve sorry about that you evolved literally while I was killing you so, uh, yeah, we're going to drop down a cheeky score of just one, but every little helps, guys. Um, it'd be interesting to see what this Unite move does. Um, we're going to drop that now just to see. Yeah, it does seem to do quite a lot of damage, so um, we will be hopefully getting that to use in a nice uh, build-up of a big team on the enemy side. In a sticky situation, you know, um, the Unite move, it's got kind of a... I don't know, this... this uh, this cooldown is actually going quite fast actually now that I'm looking at it. Um, I don't know if it's that fast on every Pokemon, but this actually seems significantly faster. I'm going to try and take down this Lucario and the water or that's uh, invading our goal. 
I uh, don't know if it's going to happen, but we are in a stronger position now uh, with our level being 10. And they have only got a level 8 Lucario, so I do feel a lot more confident taking it on. I uh, don't know how it's going to end for me though, because wow, he's just taking half my health down, that's not good. But we did manage to secure the KO on that one. Gaining, uh, well, we now have uh, 19 Aos Energy stacked up. There's an Elder Goss there, we're just going to grab these cheeky little heals. I shouldn't have really have grabbed both, but... Uh, I was hoping to get a challenge and he's coming back for a challenge, that's always good to know. But Sylveon's on my side, backed up by a Venusaur. Now we are talking proper gameplay, proper team play mechanics. So we've got 19 Aos Energy stacked up, we'll take that off of this 55 goal. Uh, actually no, we're going to stack up a little bit more with this Ordino because uh, I do feel confident if any other Pokemon come from the enemy team, I will be able to shut them down pretty quickly. And Right, Eldegoss is coming for me, so I'm going to have to play this one a little bit more smart. Um, we're going to take you away from the goal, and we are going to drop everything we can. I don't know if this is... No, see, I should have just dropped everything while I had it, and that is exactly why you don't wait around for the Pokemon. Especially on a Pokemon, you do not know how to play. But with all that said and done, I would like to know how the uh, spawn timers work on this, because it does seem to be quite random. I don't know if it's based on your level, or if it's just a random timer. Um, if anybody in the comments would like to inform me on how that works, and if you know, uh, please drop a comment on that. And don't forget, I am actually looking for players to join a team. Um, I wouldn't mind making a team specifically for this YouTube channel, uh, just to help me grow, help you grow. Um, I'm undefeated at the moment, I don't know how long that's going to last for. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to lose by playing a build. So um, I'm hoping that I don't lose, you know, I'm not going to count KOs as a loss because you will get a couple of KOs in the game. Uh, it's just a bit unfortunate that it seems to be happening quite a lot to me at the moment. Um, it seems that the tables have turned a little bit. My special defense, well, my defense has just uh, been uh, broken through uh, quite easily with a team of other Pokemon. I don't know if it's because they're just hitting newer milestones in their builds. But it's uh, certainly looking a little bit dicey for me. Now let's see what we can do against this Blastoise. I don't know if this is going to be good because we've got a Venusaur and a Blastoise here stacking up on me. But it does look like we have got the Blastoise and we're going to take down the rope. And we do seem to have some sort of rapid attack. And I think that's from our Unite move being dropped. So that's good to know that we do get a rapid attack with this build because it's a ranged attack. And we are going to go for all of these... NPC Pokemon stack up some more AS energy because we're at 34 now we could do some serious damage if we manage to get some more score We've got 36. That's not too bad. I don't know if we're gonna be able to deposit it Yes, we managed to get that deposited very quickly because we did get the Rotom secured earlier And that allows you to basically buy bypass the timers. So that was a very good call for me Wasn't a good call for me to stand in a straight line and attack the Venusaur because I know myself playing Venusaur that the solar beam is absolutely overpowered on this game um and i'd like to say it's overpowered um when actually no it's just overpowered uh yeah i like using it i just don't like being on the receiving end of it so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go for this buff and um hopefully we can carry on winning on this but it does look like we are going to secure the win we have got uh three goals remaining and they are down to just one so that is obviously a good uh chance of winning but i don't know how things are going to pan out with zapdos if they manage to get the zapdos kill then we could be looking at a bit of a sticky situation especially if they're managing to kill all our moms with um stacking up like they have been but it does look like we are going to take down this blastoise we managed to get a uh cheeky ko streak there of just two we have got no damage down on the zapdos no enemies nearby to uh, challenge us, so we do look like we're in a strong position. Um, I'm going to drop this Aurora Veil, but I'm not too sure what it does. We've got Lucario running in, and I think he's going to shred through my uh, defense like he has been in the early games. Um, so we are just going to try and play this a little bit more safe, a little bit more balanced, because we do not want to be taken out very quickly. I'm trying to keep this uh, ranged attack going, but at the same time, I want to get the last uh, strike on Zapdos. Now, we um, didn't get the Zapdos on that occasion. I think that's actually the first time we didn't get Zapdos. So we are going to be in a bit of a vulnerable situation at the moment. But we've only got 28 seconds left on the clock. Well, 25 now. And I've got 15 seconds left on my respawn timer. So it does look like we're going to win this one because I don't think they're going to manage to pull out the points to catch us up on this one. 
so if you did enjoy this video and um, you want to see more please would you like share and subscribe if we do secure the win on this i think we only need one more game and we should be beginner class three so that's always good but with us having two goals remaining and they have one i don't see how we've lost so let's just check the scores and yep we've got a 562 over 400 we are going to rank up and i will see you guys on the next video would you please make sure you check out our sponsor that is gift dude uh, they have been very very kind to me over the last week and i'll see you next time